Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Really Dicey. This is Manny. I'm Vander. And I'm Mink. And we're going to take a look what's inside this box. What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you left I thought it, but I'm it's very happy fruit. you did it. No, I'll, 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 I'll be the one to make the reference. All right. So this is um, Dungeons & Dragons versus Rick and Morty. We did a review of the uh, graphic novel, the first part that came out for this. And I believe they're working on the second one now of the series. And um, they, the same writers behind that uh, did the box set. And uh, let's just take a quick look what's inside. Yeah, excited to see. Now, I think Manny has gotten to see some of this already, but yes. Vander and I have not, so this is our first foray. Yes. the dice. Of course you are. I'm touching your stuff. I'm gonna just enjoy the artwork. Oh my God, because why can't I open this? I'm assuming Rick is a wizard and You're a wizard, Rick! And that just excites me. I kinda wanna figure out what wizard he would be. Alright, standard D20. Standard oh. oh my god. Oh, oh duh. Where this is, is Morty. We're just doing D D dice. Oh, up there. God. So stealthy. Because he's a rogue. Yeah. So that makes sense. Wait, Morty's a rogue? Well, I would assume so. He's holding oh, two yeah, daggers. Yeah, in, his... in the slash. In... Oh, no. Is this the screen? Is this a GM screen? I yeah. think so. <laughs> that is excellent. Wait, oh, what is oh, Summer? That is super detailed. Summer? <gasps> Summer ranger, looks... Believe, yeah, she's a ranger. Or a fighter doing bow and arrow. A lot of people can do bow and arrow stuff. A lot of people can do... Uh... Is, is Jerry even in this? Why would you need Jerry? Yes. No, Jerry what is, is Jerry? Yes. Is he the princess? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's... The damsel. Oh, it looks like Beth is cleric fighter. I can't decide. I don't know. She's making things poof. She looks like she's a cleric in the sense that she's summoning stuff, but she's. We'll make sure to show all you guys afterwards. We're like just that. enjoying it for the yeah, moment. Yeah, well, I mean, she's dressed to me more like a fighter, That's but so good. All right. she you're, looks like cleric of light or something. I, I don't. Know. Here are oh. some of the characters. Who they have sheets? Wait. Oh, I. Oh, okay. Hold on. We got to read these names because the names are pretty great. Oh, I'm gonna start with. You can go first. Uh, I'm going to skip this person's <clears throat> name because I'm not sure I could read it. Um, uh, Summer is Ari Strongbow. With her personality trait is don't forgive, don't forget. <laughs> 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 I kind of know who I want to play. All right. This is uh, Jerry's character, Kira Bravan, which... In the, <gasps> Oh, he? He's a wizard? How is yeah. he a wizard? <laughs> so we were wrong. Summer is actually a fighter. She's fighter one. That means there's got to be more than one fighter. Fighter level one? Oh, yeah. Fighter oh, level, it's yeah. level one. <laughs> 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 Who's the next character in the I've got Meat Face. Who's that? Uh. Oh, God. He's just a guy. Oh, okay. He's not a... I really player. wanted to find Rick to see what he was, because I know he's a wizard. I just wanted to know what type of wizard... But uh, Morty is Keth Silverson. How do you spell Keth? What is that? K like Seth, but with a K. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> That's how I'm pronouncing it. I think so. But, yep, definitely a rogue. Look at all those skills. God, being a skill monkey must be nice. Yeah. So in case you're wondering why these... These are the, char the same characters that was played in... Well, not played but shown in the uh, graphic novel. Rick, Rick, is a, Rick is a power gamer, and no one likes playing with him, and <gasps> that's, that's <laughs> so face. fair. That's so fair. Is so, that not his like entire personality in the show? How did you start with 20 intelligence, Rick? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these are the character sheets, and then it comes with also with uh, these <gasps> the books. books. All right, what do you want to grab? I want to grab one of them. You I want to grab, grab the dice because you hoarded them over here. Well, it's not my dragon gold. Also, I mean they're they're standard yep. rounded yeah. edges dice. Like yep. if if I 
you know, had to supplement with my own, I would. Because exactly. these are a little too cartoonish for my taste. I know. Is that, like, super elitist of me? Well, no, like, they're too you, cartoony! How cartoony you are, that is surprising. Listen, I have a set of lapis lazuli dice. I roll that on the ooh, finest ooh, plush that was a bad roll. What'd you get? <laughs> a one and a two. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come with two books. One is the adventure. And then, and <laughs> Big then, Rick then. energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. Yeah, I love and it. And we got the rule book. Yeah. Oh, I'm which, so glad I don't have the rule book. <laughs> it's interesting because if you open enough D and D modules, usually the rule book's just a, a truncated version of the player's handbook. But what's great about this is that Rick. Has some commentary about. Yeah, I love that. There. I love it. There's a, there's a great book section voice. where he talks about like which spells he thinks are the best and which ones are just totally lame. Yep. Are they? You know? Do they hold water though? Like, are they actually totally lame? Uh, he has some That's good points. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> the magic mouth room. That's <laughs> the, a nope. The spell magic. Why would I waste a spell slot just to get rid of someone else's spell? That's so stupid. Abjuration is the worst, Morty. <laughs> it's just so Jerry. Oh, there's a pickle room. Oh, God. Literally four O's in room. Um, that's pickle great. Room. Ooh, nice. fart gas. It's a, its effects can be sleep, retching, laughter, or blindness. Roll a D4 and find out. <laughs> it's like a blindness. God, I'm, I'm... Laughter, for, it's like automatic three for me. Just like, hold on. Someone farted. Oh, I'm retching. <laughs> now it's your turn. <laughs> Someone farted. Four. You are now blind. <laughs> Two. I you are also, also retching. Ah, <laughs> oh, none of us laughed. What is this? I appreciate a rule book that has a sense of voice because it just makes it more entertaining to read just from like a literary I standpoint. I know it's mm. stupid to talk about rule books from a literary standpoint, but like some rule books is dry and I don't want to read them and then I don't and then I feel bad. See, that that's why I like about this rule book. It, 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 because a lot of it, a lot of times, it's just yeah, just plain information and that's it. But this has a lot of usually rule books I just kind of skim through nowadays. But it forced me to read the entire thing and, and hear some of the. It's almost like like meta commentary in a weird way about the rule system because it makes fun of it a lot and it kind of makes you think of it in a different perspective. Well, when you have an IP as like culturally saturated as Rick and Morty, like I'm reading some of this flavor text for the different rooms that you could manifest if you were a GM and literally I'm like reading it in Rick's voice because whether it's you know something with way too many vowels so you know you have to stress it um or just the the way that it is presented it just it reads like okay here's Rick talking about mm. a game with all of the energy enthusiasm and expertise that Rick has but about Dungeons and Dragons game, like a low stakes D and D game. Jeez. Ooh, there's the Tommy Two Butts room. So, how how do you feel that the fact that this adventure has a lot of comedy in it, Rick and Morty comedy? Do you think it it works well for like today's campaigns? You'd have to know your audience obviously first, more than anything. Like you have to know who you're playing with. If they're newbies, if they're I hate to say innocent, but if they're if they if they are a PG thirteen group of people. This could get rough, mm -hmm. but if there's someone who like goes into an adventure and they, they are making jokes similar to this and doing crazy right. stuff similar to this anyways, like they want to magic off someone's butt, uh, like it's like, this is, sounds amazing for them. If you're looking for the next dramatic experience, I don't think this is it, dog. But if you are looking for casual gaming. Or even if you're looking to get your friends who have not done tabletop gaming into the genre without terrifying them, this might be a nice Segway. entry point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, this looks like you could run a one-shot really easily. It looks like you could transition that into a campaign easily. I prefer to use um, even shorter, like, you know, pocket... Uh, Tabletop games is my entry point for people who have never gamed before because then they know in the first 30 minutes Whether if this is something they want. But if you've got someone who's like, I kind of want to try it and I kind of want to go like character sheet level. Yes. But I don't want to necessarily have to devise my own character sheet and I'm a little nervous about it. Like, like this would be this would be totally hitting all those those like points. Like bring it to like a convention. Like maybe not like a hardcore one, but one that's pretty mellow by comparison. And yeah. just like you have a night off to play with some people. Right. This is like 
I don't know, 6 p.m. Friday night of Gen Con. <laughs> like, this is this is what I'm doing in between bites of dominoes, you know? Hmm. <laughs> like, this, I, I like humor in my games. Inevitably, Agreed. it happens. Um, so even if I'm playing a serious game, somebody is cracking a joke and we're all getting a little bit off topic. This feels like it is made for cracking jokes and being yes, off topic. very much so. I'd play this with improvisers. Mm, like, if yeah. you're a part of an improv group... Yeah, just this get is your great, buddies yeah. over. Play this game. Yes, and each other. <laughs> and, and I think if, if anyone likes this, um, there's another source where they came out this year called uh, Acquisitions Inc., which is also. Oh, yeah, Acquisitions Inc. Which is also full of comedy and, and, and kind of making fun of uh, modern society using D&D, kind of like The Office and D&D, right. really. Um, so I think if they like this, they could position to that. And I think that's kind of great that D&D is kind of supporting. Not just like uh, serious adventures, but like more fun adventures as well. Well, I think there are a lot of people coming off of like Critical Role mm -hmm. and um, the Adventure Zone as like, you know, media that they've consumed and they're like, okay, how do I do this but also have a fun time? Mm -hmm. And it can be challenging if you're picking up you know, OG Dungeons and Dragons and you're sitting there <laughs> attempting to have the same raucous uh, adventure that uh, the McElroy brothers did. It goes in. back to what you say about improv. Like having at least one improv person in the group would be really great. Because if, because uh -huh. like you're not a cast of people whose life has been made off of improv, so it's a little difficult to do that all I, the not time. Not everyone does improv. I mean, that's just my life. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you just get one person who like give them like give them like the quote unquote worst character, let them be. Let them be Jerry. He's yeah. literally looking at Jerry's character sheet. Just spoiler alert. Right I love Jerry. Please, but, <laughs> if we were playing right now, I'd be like, fight me for Jerry. No, I'd be Morty. Rogue. All the skills. Oh, see, I'm, I'm not looking at skills. it from class. I'm purely looking at it from for character. character. I'm actually shocked there Is isn't a Mr. Poopy Butthole. I wonder if he's part of, like, a future expansion. <gasps> and they'd have Snowball. Who else um, would they have? Oh, obviously Bird Person. Uh, what would Bird Person be? A Bird Person. No, like, what class? Snowball. They do have snowball, but like that's an NPC. I want them I as know. a playable <laughs> character. <laughs> what would, no, seriously, what would bird person be? As, as bird a, person, a barbarian. <laughs> oh, that sounds huh. like a good question to let our viewers <laughs> comment True. below. Yeah. <laughs> what would bird person be? What's Give your, your opinion in the comments. Yeah. Or favorite Mor uh, Rick and Morty character, and what class you'd like to see them as, mm. and potentially a future expansion if they do make it. Mm. Mm. Okay, I guess that's a good way to, to end this segment. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below, and have a great day. See ya.